Hello Finland and hello Eurovision fans, it is William Kaling from Weebie Blogs and the Rasmus have revealed their song for Uden Musiken Kilpailu 2022. They are of course a huge band who have sold albums, records, singles all over the place. There's a lot of hype surrounding the reveal. The song is Jezebel Devon. I've been watching, I've been waiting. In the shadows, oh my lord. Hey William, I am so excited. The Rasmus, one of the biggest rock bands in Europe. Do you know what, Boo? I have been following the Rasmus for years. I absolutely love them. And when I heard that we're going to UMK, I'm thinking, what just happened? Hashtag no fear, honey. What just happened? Hide from the sun. Dead letters, black roses. These are absolutely amazing number one albums. Let me just put it out there. Okay, Dark Matters. Let's roll out another top 10, boo. Oh my God, the Rasmus. Really? Into hell of a collection. Hello? Okay. Breathe. Heartbreaker days, take it easy. Breathe. Living in a world without you, take it easy. Breathe. Okay, we're good. I, I am just excited beyond belief. Should we listen and react? <laughs> Let's do this. The song is called Jezebel, and I'm reading on the Weebie Blogs website that this is a song for strong, independent women who blaze their own trail. Jezebel was, of course, the biblical Phoenician princess who used her husband and later her kids and deceit and sexual charms to seize and maintain power. This is how the band's lead singer describes the song. He says, Jezebel was a biblical troublemaker who did things her own way and really shook things up. We wanted to introduce her to the modern day world. The song is also a bit tongue in cheek, which is pretty unusual for the Rasmus. All right, hitting pa lay. Mm, nice color scheme. Bumblebee realness. Boo! Mm. Midnight, it's time to put your face on. Put that face on. Someone's ready to go out. Okay, predatory. Oh my god, Lowry looks so good. Jesus on a cross. <laughs> love, okay. love, love. Almost a classic rock ballad. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Hunter Prey, little cliche. But thematically appropriate. Love, love, love. Mm. They have a strong look. This is my absolute favorite pre track from any pre selection so far this year. Loving, living. Yes, honey. They serve the looks. Was it the dangerous things you do? Your final kiss is to leave a scar on a heart. Oh, this is catchy. This is classy. This is... It's very Rasmus as well. Oh, I like Blind Channel. He performs. I actually love Blind Channel. She perform. They perform. I really love this. It has a really good chorus melodically. I just wish it was more powerful. Oh, 
I absolutely love this. <laughs> Do you know what? I really like their music just ignites excitement and makes me feel alive. Nice drumming at the end. Oh, and they really know how to keep you great. Okay. Oh, love that mic moment, Larry. Let's keep it real. Expectations were high, and this has not met those expectations. Now, I say this with a few caveats. The first is that this group can perform live. There is no doubt. We know this. They have a track record. But unfortunately, in the studio version, this is a little wah-wah. It is melodic. It's got some nice moments. But over the course of the three minutes, I did find my mind wandering. I think the lyrics are just okay. There, there are a few moments. The whole, your final kiss is to leave a scar on my heart, hunter and prey. I don't know. It just didn't feel organic. I like the metaphor they're drawing out, how they're describing the Jezebel, you know, it's midnight, she's putting her face on because she's a woman of many faces. I like all of that. Um, I like that she comes off as a predator through her actions, that he woke up bruised, etc. But yeah, I don't know. As an overall package, I'm just kind of like wah wah. Oh, listen, 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 listen. Jezebel, Jezebel, you got me fire in my blood. UMK, I gotta go to Helsinki. You know what? Something, let me put out messages to the universe. Helsinki, the last time I met you, Actually, I was there for Eurovision and I've been there twice since, but it doesn't matter. I want to come back. I want to come back. This is the no me now. Oh my God. Tracks are pouring out, you know, from all national selections all around Europe and stuff. Like this for me is, is a standout. I said earlier, it's my favorite track from every national selection this year. Mm, maybe not. It's definitely my favorite rock track. It's definitely one of my favorite tracks. It's definitely a total standout. I absolutely love this. You know, I've loved the Rasmus for a very long time. Nine studio albums, boo. Nine studio albums. At least I've got seven of those. And as much as I love them, it sets a very high expectation, but I can tell you one thing. This really is in line with all of that. This really fits. This is the glow up moment. Oh my God, there's so much cohesion. Yes, they've had a, a, a lineup change, but who cares? The sound is here. The spirit is here. And I'm actually surprised they're going into a pre-selection. UMK, you had a big Sarah Alta moment. Let's just choose a track for her. Darude, you had a bit. Deserved. Derasmus should also be in that lineup of like, okay, Rasmus, we're sending you. What are you gonna sing? Let the Finnish people choose. You've thrown them in the mix, in a really competitive mix. I mean, this is the third one I've heard. I've heard Sign Kicks, which is great. And I've also heard Rapper Pum Pum. Oh, what's her name? Bess. She's also great. Ah, oh, but this is my favorite. This is just my favorite. This is Jezebel, Jez, go biblical on us, boo. I'm loving this. I'm downloading it after this, straight up. Oh my God, gotta hydrate. This is one of those moments. Oh. In any case, back to my caveats. They can perform live, so I know this will be better when they hit the stage. It's inevitable. And you've got to remember, at Eurovision, you're not voting for the best studio cut. You're voting for the best live performance on a single night with staging. And those are two very different things. If we know anything about the Rasmus, it's that they have a good team around them. They are no doubt going to have epic staging because they've worked so many global stages. They know what they need to do to cast their songs in the best light. I think of Mooniskin. That studio cut is still not one of my favorites. I don't listen to it. However, they were deserving winners on Eurovision night because they had the overall performance, the charisma, that X factor. And the Rasmus have that X factor as well. So until we see this live, it's really impossible to judge. The studio cut, I'm not going to be rushing to play it again. I prefer Rum Pum Pum. We've heard three songs so far, and I'd say that Rum Pum Pum is my favorite. Um, this, this is good. On stage, it could be great, but we just have to wait and see. Boom! This is excellent. I absolutely love this. What is there not to like? What is there not to like? The Rasmus know how to play to packed arenas, which means they know how to deliver live. 
And in the studio, they work their magic as well. I mean, in Finland, I mean, every album just kind of shoots to the top, doesn't it? But aside from that, they've clocked hits in the US, they've clocked hits in Europe, and Eurovision is about playing to a global audience. They're gonna kill it, they're gonna kill it. But of course, I don't make that decision. The Finnish people do. And I do just want to remind you of two or three things I've said repeatedly in this video. One is that in the video itself, I was already like, whoa, they're owning the stage. The second is that there is a very nice hook, actually. The da 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 you know, the chorus. It, you, you remember it instantly. And because this is a studio version, maybe I'm not getting the full wow and pow. Maybe live that will come through. I will keep my fingers crossed. The Rasmus. Are you on Pinterest? We need to see a mood board dating back to 1994, hunty. That was when you guys formed. And I want to see your looks over the years, yeah? Take me from dawn to dance floor. Different looks. Serve it real, serve it good. Your eyeshadow and your eyeliner is unbeatable, Lowry. There's no one else rocking that look. I want to see you on Pinterest. Pin up a mood board, and while you're at it, follow Wee Wee Blogs on Pinterest. To everybody else, we're on all the other social platforms too. Make sure you check us out, and we will see you later. Bye!